Okay, how's it going guys? And uh, welcome. We have another sign shop tutorial. I believe this is the third one I've done. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to literally go over every single thing. So there's no miscommunication. And hopefully not a lot of problems. But anyways, the um, main plugin you're going to need for sign shop and the only plugin you're going to need for sign shop is going to be Volt. Without Volt, SignShop's not going to work. It's where it stores all its data. So, you need Volt. That'll be down in the description. And, uh, of course, you need SignShop. So, SignShop, I'll have a link down there. You said download right here. It's going to bring you to this page. And just telling you what version it is. And uh, they are coming out with a new version in the next few days, um, which is going to fix a, uh, a problem with linking signs that uh, when you break the chest even though it's an infinite stock amount that it doesn't stay infinite but you guys don't have to worry about that that'll be updated in the future that's it's, it's really not a big deal so don't worry about it but anyways um, so once you have those both downloaded you'll have two Java files here Java plugins and once you're doing that you're just gonna open up your server and this is just a little local server I set up Go into plugins, and all you gotta do is drop those in there. I already have them in there. It's gonna create two files: um, the Volt file, which you don't have to worry about. That's just storing data and Sign Shop. Now you can mess with the colors, config, whatever you'd like. Um, but uh, for this tutorial, we're not gonna get to, into uh, you know the config of this because you can actually set up custom signs and whatnot. It's really cool. And I'll go more into that when we uh, get into the tutorial. But without further ado, let's get into it. So, after you have that all installed, and a good way to just check to see if it's all installed correctly is if it's green and you have essentials or a plugin that allows you to check if your plugins are running correctly, just do slash plugins or whatever the command is to make sure it's running correctly. And uh, if you're running essentials, if it's highlighted red, it is not working. But everything is green here, and uh, we're good to go. So what we're trying to do is make a buy sign, or a sell sign, or just a sign shop. So uh, this one I set up, and it's just buying one carrot for five dollars, uh, very basic. And I set up a chest right over there, and there was a villager in there, but I'm not sure where he went. But anyways, but uh, let's get throw that back in there. And let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna need a chest, and that's where you're gonna store the items for the sign job, and a sign, an item to sell, and redstone. Now the redstone is the one that's gonna link everything together. So let's stock it, and we're gonna put one in there. Now when you first link it, it does matter how much you put in the amount, because when you first link it, that's the amount it's gonna sell each and every time a transaction is made on that sign. So make sure you have the set amount you want the first time you link it. So the way you set it up is you have a bracket and then you do buy and this is just a regular buy sign. Uh, it's not infinite or anything like that. You can put um, the, the two the second and third line are actually you put anything you want in there and it will still work. But it's always nice to put a description, maybe the amount, and we'll do it five hundred. And once that it once that's done you have made a sign. Now all you gotta do is hit the chest first and it'll say it stored the data telling you there's one diamond in that chest and then you just gotta hit the sign and there you go. It has created a shop. You, have, you buy it once and it, it, it turns red when it's out of stock and all you gotta do is restock it. But if we buy it again it's gonna still stay red because we only, we only have one diamond in there so it's not being able to update. So we get two diamonds and just buy one it updated and it's blue again and same thing with the sell sign all you need is a sign and an item in there for what you are selling and it's the same thing actually we'll make it cheaper gotta make that money and so we got one in there because we want to sell one at a time for 450. So we're going to hit the chest first and then hit the sign and you're all good to go. And we'll sell one of our diamonds to this shop. There you are. It has put $450 into our account. 
So that's how you create a sign shop, um, just a regular user sign shop, not a uh, global one where you would have infinite amounts. But um, you have to set that up in your server how you would like with permissions because you can actually allow players to make their own shops, which is a cool thing to do in servers. But um, if you're looking to do a shop that is ran by infinite amount, you'd have to do iBuy which puts it at an infinite amount set. So it doesn't matter how many times I click this, it's still gonna give me one diamond, even though this chest in here, <coughs> excuse me, only has one diamond. So uh, if we buy one from here, it's actually gonna, they're all linked together. So this, this ran out, we're just gonna sell it one. And that turned blue again, because we sold it to the chest and it updated. That, that That's just the same thing over there. Not something you gotta worry about, but uh, then we have uh, global buy and global sell. That is, uh, it's a different type of buy sign. It's not something you're gonna need to worry about. Honestly, all you need to use is I buy um, if you want an infinite amount of stock of any item or uh, buy and sell for your regular users. But uh, yeah, let's get into the, some of the cool features that this plugin allows you to do. So you can do day, obviously it'll set it to day, night, um, and I have a command block over there setting it to day so it doesn't get night on us. So it actually does set it to night. Uh, toggles the rain, and I don't like the rain, so I'm gonna do sun. And uh, oh, I could have just done clear skies. All right, clear skies. Then we got repair. So if you had a item, it actually repairs the item you click it with when uh, it is damaged, and we'll damage it real quick like right here. Then we got repair, good to go. We'll put some knockback on it. So the way this works is an uh, enchantment sign is you actually have to put the item uh, enchanted into the chest. And when you're making a enchanted sign, it's pretty much like any of the other signs. You got the second and third line, you can put anything you want. You got the price and enchant. It's just when you link it, in the enchantment that you put in here on any item, that's what the enchantment's gonna sell. So keep that in mind. Then we got disenchant. Uh, you can buy XP, and that's an infinite amount because it's an I buy, I sell XP. And uh, okay, this is really cool. Um, which is uh, okay. So what this is is it's a slot machine basically. Um, you can set this up to do a lot of cool things in your server. But uh, basically, what you do is you buy it, and it gives you a random item. So if I clear my inventory. Uh, I put a random amount of items in there as you can see so all you got to do is put random items or whatever items you want in that chest and link it to the i slot sign and that's basically it and then it whoever buys from it's going to get what's ever in there but at a random purchase so very cool and then a jukebox that's actually pretty awesome you can put discs in there i only put three but you obviously can put all of them and all it's gonna do is play a random song that's picked from here. So it's, uh, you don't gotta put, you know, discs in a, a jukebox or anything like that. So uh, bank, if you have a bank store uh, set up in your server, you can actually store it and run the bank command through this sign. But I do not have it set up, but uh, that's what that is. Now I put this in there. Uh, this is a share sign, so if two people had a buy sign or a sell sign and two people were running the shop together and they wanted to share the percentage you know 50 50 or whatever it is or three ways you can actually link a share sign a buy sign and everything together to that one shop and you guys can set you know how much percentage you're sharing and everything um, definitely look on the website on how to configure that right but I'm pretty sure it's you just share your names or what names you want to share and then you link it together and then you're all good to go. So that's that. Uh, this just gets rid of items. I'm just going to take a piece of grass. Dispose. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. There we go. Dispose. And uh, then we got a trade sign. So this one's one dirt uh, for one diamond. So obviously this is a great deal. Um, we're just gonna hit that. 
and there we go. So we traded one dirt for a diamond. So the way this works is you actually have to link two chests together, one chest having the item you want to trade and one just receiving the item. So all you have to do is hit uh, the first one to receive the item and the second one to send the item. So you hit both of them and then you hit the sign and it'll create a trade sign. You can also do I trade for an infinite amount if you didn't want to keep on stocking these. So uh, yeah, and once we get over here, this, uh, this plugin actually has a little redstone to it. It has device on, so you can turn it on. You can uh, turn things off and you can toggle it. So that's just gonna keep it on or off, depending on what you do. And then device, it temporarily turns it on for a set amount. You, you can actually configure that in the config, and uh, it gets complicated, but it's actually really cool. And all you're doing is when you're making these device uh, signs, you're linking it to a switch. So you would hit the switch with the redstone. So it's uh, stored the lever, and then you just hit the sign to link it. And that's basically it. And you can set an amount of cost if you wanted someone to, you know, turn on a light for five dollars or whatever you would like in your server you can do that as well so yeah those are some awesome features to it and I just want to show you a few more and uh, we'll wrap this up we also got a uh, the command sign and you can actually basically do any command through these signs um, you can run it uh, uh, you can run it through the config or do anything you want it's, it's very cool. So I, I, I did a regular one. It's uh, just server, hello YouTube. Uh, and it, what it's doing is running the uh, say command and uh, that's what it's gonna say. And it costs $5 to use it. So that is very cool. <clears throat> okay, so we got promote. And you can use this in the server to maybe if you're running an economy server and you don't do it by time played, maybe you do it by uh, uh, earning money and whatnot, you can actually buy ranks with this plugin. So this is very cool. Um, so right now I'm already in the group admin. If I put myself to test, and that's a different group, and then once I had that amount of money and I wanted to get promoted to that group, then uh, there you go. I've been moved to that group and saying I've been promoted from test to admin. So that's very cool. So you can also set up to promote signs uh, with permissions where you can't just skip a rank. You have to buy one set after the other. So all you got to make is a permission sign, link that together, and you're good to go. So that is also very cool. And uh, yeah. Last thing on the list is a custom signs. You can actually make any kind of sign you want here. Make it pretty much do anything you want, which is uh, super awesome. So I just did YouTube, and this is just a test sign. And, oop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't quite see that because it was already saying hello. But um, what it's doing is it's just running the command hello YouTube. Uh, and the way I set that up, if we look in here, is under signs, I just made my own sign, run command YouTube. And I'm not going to get too much into it, this tutorial. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, definitely leave a comment down below. I definitely will. Uh, it's a very cool thing. And um, I actually have an example for you guys. I did something on my server that is uh, pretty cool, I think. So we go to the PVP in my server. I actually set up my own PVP bot because I realized people weren't always around. As you can see, I, I, don't, I don't have the most popular server, but people aren't always around to PVP. So I created my own little bot. And what it does is spawns a mob with a little firework flare, uh, makes it look cool. And you know they can fight the mob, whatever. Now. I set it up where you couldn't spam it or do anything like that. So right now it says the device is on. Basically, I just ran that with a lever to a command block. And you can actually set what it says if when you click on it. You know, summon a PvP bot. It's all very configurable and very cool. So 
yeah and uh, while we're here I'll show you the shop we got over here just to give you guys some references so this is a shop running on a 1.7.9 server and soon to be 1.8 um, when uh, you know the time of making this video actually 1.8 is going to come out in a couple weeks supposedly there's been talk about it so hoping crossing our fingers but uh, yeah this is uh, the shop we got here all right and uh, if you guys have any questions definitely leave a comment down below there's also the uh, sign shop bucket forms over here so if you have any questions you could definitely ask him he's uh, pretty active he you can see he posted a day ago so he's a nice guy uh, Devonish Devonish is the maker of this plugin so yeah and I think that about wraps it up well thank you guys for watching the video if you have any other further questions uh, please do comment down below my Skype is also listed if you need um, extra assistance, I will definitely see what I can do. All right. Thank you very much, guys. You have a great day.